Hey, problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I'm gonna to talk about ordering materials to build a block wall, like this one behind me here. Talk about square feet, linear feet, how you go between the two, ordering crush rock um, for filling behind the wall, by the ton, by the yard, how that all works. Um, the price break on these blocks is per pallet. So if you get four pallets, you get a price break. So if you plan on just buying one pallet, see how it goes, and another one, you're not gonna get that price break. So doing the math on this, save you money, save you time. Let's get started. All right, these are Basilite hardscapes. I'm going specifically over here to the estate wall blocks. These kind of seem to work out the best. Um, you could get this from any one of your suppliers. Um, you know, I, I really like working with a legitimate supply company rather than a home improvement store. They just know what they're doing. They deliver beautifully. And then for once you kind of pick out the block you want, then the specs are down here. So let's see here. So I'm going with these blocks right here. They're 10 and 3 8 by 16 by 6. They weigh 50 pounds a piece. Sketch of them, 16 across the front six inches high, 10 and 3 eighths deep. How deep they are doesn't really matter, so I just rounded that up to 11. That's the width of the um, trench I'm gonna cut. Remember, you wanna probably put one below grade and then stack on top of that. So just to give you an idea of what one of these pallets look like, let me cut to some video of the pallets being delivered. So this is a flatbed truck with four pallets on, and then they have that forklift in the back. So that, that pallet is 60 units at 50 pounds a piece, so that's about 3,000 pounds. Um, if you have some small machine to move it around, you might have to take off a couple of rows to get it, get it down to 1,500 pounds. So it's 12 blocks per level and then five levels high and then wrapped in plastic. And you can see this delivery fork really does no damage on the lawn at all. Okay, I actually have two retaining walls going in. One is gonna be about 90 feet long. And this one, you know, if that's the grade of the height, I want it to come up about three foot high. So I am gonna put six inches down below grade plus the three foot. Um, so let's figure out that first. So as far as total square footage of this goes, if I'm using this per pallet, First thing I need to do is take into account the six inches below grade. So the overall height is gonna be three, um, there's six inches. So I'm gonna have one course below grade. So three and a half feet is my overall height. Again, with half a foot down in the ground, three feet above. I want my units to be the same. This is gonna be, the front is gonna be the overall square footage here. So the way I find that square footage is I'm just gonna take base times height. So I take 90 times 3.5, and that gives me 315 feet times feet is square feet. So that first wall has a square footage of 315 square feet. And then I know there's 40 square feet per pallet, so I divide that by the 40 square feet per pallet, and that's gonna give me how many pallets I need. So I take that 315, divided by 40, and I see I need 7.875 pallets. So I'm just gonna get eight pallets to do this one wall. If I'm wondering how many blocks are gonna go on a single course for the length of it, that's gonna be a linear foot versus a square foot. Well, it's 16 inches. I know that 12 inches um, is one foot, so I do 16 divided by 12, which gives me one with four left over. Four over 12 is a third. So every brick that's 16 inches long is one and one third of a foot long. So if there are 60 units per pallet, how many linear feet could I get out of one pallet? How many courses could I get? Well, it's gonna be 60 times one and a third, right? Because I got 60 units. I have 60 units per pallet times the length of one block, one and one third feet, my units have to be the same. That one third foot is at four over 12. And then I'm gonna multiply that together. So I'm gonna take 60 times one, um, 
plus 1 divided by 3, there's a fraction, and that's going to give me 80. So it's going to give me 80 linear feet. So one pallet is going to go almost the full length, but I won't be able to do a single course with the pallet. I'm going to have to open up the next pallet to get the next length. So that's how I calculate out uh, the difference between square footage, which is the area on the front, versus linear footage, which is a straight line right there. Hopefully that helps explain how to go from the specs in the book to how many square feet you're going to do, how many linear feet you're going to do, and back and forth. And the last thing I was going to talk about is just gravel uh, delivery. Two ways to buy the gravel. One is by the yard, and then the other is by the ton. So if you're buying it in the hopper like this so it could get delivered simultaneously with the blocks, they sell it by the yard, which is 27 cubic feet. Two types of gravel here, that's three quarter inch rock getting poured there. Good for backfill behind the wall. In front is a road base with the filings in it for under the wall. The other way to buy rock is by the ton. You take your dump trailer down to the quarry and then they fill it up with however many tons that you buy. A little bit of red plastic right there. Right there. A little bit of red plastic. Let's see where that red plastic came from. That would be from right there to there. <laughs> Moral of that story is don't leave the dump trailer out in the homeowner's driveway where they could back into it and break their tail light. Okay, so a yard is one yard by one yard by one yard. A yard is three feet, so it's three feet by three feet by three feet. So three times three is nine square feet times three is 27 cubic feet. So one yard of rock is 27 cubic feet. Usually one yard a rock is about 2,200 pounds, so it's a little bit more than a ton. They are somewhat interchangeable. I think a yard of water is like 18, 1,900 pounds. So they're, they're, they're pretty comparable. If you're buying by the ton, one ton is equal to exactly 2,000 pounds. So if you're buying by the yard, you're going to get a few extra, a couple extra hundred pounds. If you're buying by the tonnage, it's 2,000 pounds. So that's a good idea on how to order the rock, whether it's the base rock that goes underneath the blocks or just three quarter inch crush rock for behind the wall, whether you're gonna buy it by the yard or whether you're gonna buy it by the ton. They both work equally well. It's just good to know the difference between the two. And then also how to figure out how many blocks, building blocks you need if you're looking at linear footage or square footage. I hope this video helped. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments below. If you've done a lot of these brick walls, please comment below on how they went and how you calculated the yardage of the rock or how many blocks you needed. There are a lot of different style of blocks. This is just one of them. If you like the video, hit like. And if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. It is a practical math channel.